Hey, what is going on guys? Today on the channel, we're going to be taking a look at my iHome. So I got this iHome many, many, many years ago. I'm not sure exactly when, and unfortunately I can't find the box to it, but I figured I'd make a video on it because it is a pretty awesome old school piece of tech here. So let's go ahead and check it out. So this is the iHome. Now this actually wasn't officially, you know, released by Apple, but they were allowed to use the i in front of the home name. So this is basically a MP3 player, alarm clock, and radio, and it works really good and it still is just fine here in 2019. Now, I used to use this next to my bed as an alarm clock and a radio, kind of like just a little thing for my nightstand, but since then I have moved it into my office and I now have it setting up here uh, next to my secondary display. So on the front of the iHome, you notice two speakers, so they're very large speakers, they sound very good. And in the middle, you have the iHome logo, your current time, whether it's AM or PM, the current date. And then there's also a few other little uh, spots there. I believe one of them is uh, if you have any alarms on. So you have a nice little screen there. Now the screen can be adjusted uh, through the settings on the back. There are some buttons on the back of the iHome that you use to change things like your date and time, as well as the brightness. The brightness dimmer is actually on top. It's this big long bar right here, and that also functions as your snooze. On top of the iHome is where you have all your main controls. On the left, we have a power button, and on the right, we have a pause and play button. And both of those other circles around those buttons are actually able to be turned, which then allows you to, on the left, change your volume, and on the right, set things, such as your uh, radio and your date and time. Now the buttons that are one through six are your radio presets, so you can push those uh, twice to uh, actually get a radio preset. And to set your presets, you simply just go to the radio station and then hold those down. You'll hear a little beep and it sets your presets, so very cool. There's a button right there to the right of the last preset, which is the equalizer, so that allows you to change things such as your bass, treble, and balance. This little thing has a good amount of bass, it's actually pretty impressive, and I like to keep the bass all the way up. Below those buttons you have your radio, your sleep, and then your two alarms, so you can have two separate alarms on this thing. And then up top, you notice I have my iPod Touch 4th generation sitting in the 30 pin dock connector for this device. So you are able to obviously play off of your iPod and you can play whatever. So whether it's music or Pandora or videos, if there's any audio coming out of the iPod, you can play it through the speakers. So that is pretty cool. It's a really simple device, really nice. It still sounds great. Uh, here in 2019 still works great I've never had a single issue with this thing over the several years I've owned it like I said I wish I could find the original box and the original um, date that I purchased it but that's all right so I just want to make this quick video of the iHome overall it's a great little um, clock radio and alarm it looks cool too it'd be nice if uh, they somehow made a newer version or Apple made their own version of this. Anyways guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching as always. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you all in the next video.